Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, grab your tea and crumpets because we've got an absolutely explosive scandal that's rocking the very foundations of the House of Sussex. It seems our favorite attention-seeking couple, Harry and Meghan, have been caught in what might be the biggest lie of the century and who's blown the whistle on them. None other than Earl Spencer, Princess Diana's brother himself. Oh, the drama. Now, before we dive into this juicy gossip, let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer audacity of it all, shall we? Here we have Harry and Meghan, who've been parading around for years, claiming to be doting parents to little Archie and Lilibet. They've been milking their family man and protective mother personas for all they're worth. And now, it turns out, it might all be a big fat lie. Can you believe it, folks? Earl Spencer, a man who's always been protective of Diana's memory and legacy, has dropped a bombshell that sent shockwaves through the royal watching community. He claims that during a visit to the Sussex's Montecito mansion, he saw dolls resembling Lilibet Diana, not the real child. I mean, talk about a plot twist that even the writers of The Crown couldn't have cooked up. Now, I know what some of you Sussex squad members out there are thinking. Oh, but Earl Spencer must be mistaken. Maybe he just saw some toys. Well, my dears, let me tell you something. Earl Spencer isn't some doddering old fool who can't tell the difference between a living, breathing child and a doll. This is a man who's been in the public eye for decades, who's dealt with the media circus surrounding his sister's life and death. If he says he saw dolls, you can bet your bottom dollar he saw dolls. And let's think about this logically for a moment, shall we? When was the last time we actually saw clear, undeniable proof of Archie and Lilibet's existence? Sure, we've had a few grainy photos here and there, always conveniently obscuring the children's faces. We've had Harry and Meghan gushing about their kids in interviews and on their podcast. But have we ever seen these children in public? Have they ever been presented to the world in the way that William and Catherine's children have been? The answer, my friends, is a resounding no. And now we know why. Because they might not exist at all. Now, I can already hear the outrage from the Sussex supporters. How dare you question whether their children are real? They'll cry. That's a step too far. But is it really? Let's look at the facts, shall we? Fact number one. Harry and Meghan have gone to extraordinary lengths to keep their children out of the public eye. Now, I'm all for protecting children's privacy, but there's a difference between being protective and being downright secretive. Fact number two, the few photos we've seen of the children have been highly controlled and often questionable. Remember that Christmas card where Archie's face was so blurred it could have been any red-headed child? Fact number three, Harry and Meghan have a history of, shall we say, bending the truth to suit their narrative. From claims about a secret wedding before their public ceremony, which was later debunked, to Meghan's convenient forgetfulness about her involvement in finding freedom, these two have shown they're not above a bit of creative storytelling. And now we have Earl Spencer, a respected member of Diana's family, claiming he saw dolls instead of a real child. It's like something out of a bizarre science fiction novel, isn't it? The Stepford Sussexes, perhaps, but let's dig a little deeper here, because this isn't just about whether Archie and Lilibet are real or not. This is about the web of lies and deceit that Harry and Meghan have woven around themselves. It's about the lengths they've gone to in order to manipulate public opinion and play the victim card. Think about it. If, and it's a big if, but bear with me. If Archie and Lilibet aren't real, what does that say about everything else Harry and Meghan have told us? What about all those tearful interviews where they talked about wanting to protect their children from the evil media? What about their constant harping on about privacy and security concerns? It would all be a lie. A great big fat audacious lie that makes all their other fibs look like white lies in comparison. And let's not forget, this isn't just any old celebrity scandal. This involves the British royal family. This involves the line of succession to the throne. If Archie and Lilibet don't exist, that changes everything about the royal family's future. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but why would they do this? What could they possibly gain from pretending to have children? Well, my dears, let me count the ways. 
First off, having children immediately made Harry and Meghan more sympathetic figures. They weren't just a couple abandoning their royal duties anymore. They were parents trying to protect their children. It gave them a ready-made excuse for every decision they made. Secondly, the children provided a continued link to the royal family. As long as Archie and Lilibet existed, Harry and Meghan could never be fully cut off. They would always have that connection, always have a claim to royal status through their children. And thirdly, and this is where it gets really cynical, think about the commercial opportunities, books about parenting, children's clothing lines, educational initiatives. The possibilities are endless when you have two photogenic and conveniently camera -shy, royal children to build a brand around. But here's the thing that really gets me. If this is true, if Harry and Meghan have really been lying about having children, then they've not just been deceiving the public, they've been lying to their own family, to King Charles, to William and Catherine, to all the aunts and uncles and cousins who've presumably been sending birthday presents and Christmas gifts to children who don't exist. Can you imagine the hurt and betrayal they must be feeling right now? Can you imagine how William and Catherine must feel, knowing that all those times they expressed concern for their niece and nephew's welfare, they were worrying about dolls? And poor King Charles. The man's been going around for years talking about his beloved grandchildren, probably boring his staff to tears with stories about little Archie and Lilibet, and now he finds out it was all a lie. It's heartbreaking, really. But you know who I really feel sorry for in all this? The British public. Because we've been taken for a ride, haven't we? We've been fed this narrative of the poor, persecuted Sussexes, just trying to live a normal life with their children away from the spotlight. We've been asked to sympathize with their struggles, to understand their need for privacy, to respect their wishes as parents. And all along, it might have been nothing but smoke and mirrors, a carefully constructed facade designed to garner sympathy and deflect criticism. It's manipulative, it's deceitful, and quite frankly, it's disgusting. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. But what if Earl Spencer is wrong? What if he just misunderstood what he saw? And to that I say, of course, there's always that possibility. But ask yourselves this. What's more likely? That Earl Spencer, a man who's been around children his whole life, somehow mistook lifelike dolls for real children? Or that Harry and Meghan, who've shown time and time again that they're willing to bend the truth to suit their purposes, have been pulling the wool over our eyes this whole time? And let's not forget, Harry's reaction to this revelation speaks volumes. Reports from Montecito suggest he's trembling with fear. Now why would that be? I wonder. If there's nothing to hide, if Earl Spencer is simply mistaken, why not just laugh it off? Why not invite the press in to see Archie and Lilibet, put all these rumors to rest once and for all? But no, instead we have silence from the Sussex camp. Silence and fear, and you know what they say. Silence speaks louder than words. So what happens now? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? If this turns out to be true, if Archie and Lilibet really are nothing more than elaborate props in the Sussex's ongoing drama, then the fallout will be catastrophic. We're talking about the end of Harry and Meghan as we know them. Their credibility, already hanging by a thread, will be completely destroyed. Their brand, built on the image of the loving family man and the protective mother, will crumble to dust. And their relationship with the royal family? Well, I think it's safe to say that bridge won't just be burned. It'll be obliterated. But you know what? Part of me thinks this might be exactly what the monarchy needs. A clean break from the Sussex drama. A chance to move forward without constantly having to worry about what Harry and Meghan might say or do next. Because let's face it, they've been a thorn in the side of the royal family for far too long. William and Catherine, bless them, have been soldiering on, doing their duty, raising their very real children in the public eye. They've shown what it really means to be royal, to serve, to sacrifice, to put the needs of the nation above your own personal desires. And now, with this revelation, the contrast between the Cambridges and the Sussexes couldn't be starker. On one side, we have William and Catherine, honest, hardworking, dedicated to their roles and to their family. On the other, we have Harry and Meghan, manipulative, deceitful, willing to stoop to unimaginable lows for the sake of publicity and financial gain. Is it any wonder the British public has turned against Harry and Meghan? 
Is it any surprise that their popularity has plummeted while William and Catherine's has soared? People can forgive a lot, but lying about children, that's a step too far. So where do we go from here? Well, I think it's high time Harry and Meghan face the music. No more hiding behind vague statements and per spin. No more playing the victim card. It's time for them to come clean, to face the public, and explain themselves. And if they can't do that, if they can't provide irrefutable proof that Archie and Lilibet are real, living, breathing children, then I think it's time for the royal family to cut ties once and for all, strip them of their titles, remove them from the line of succession, and let them fade into obscurity where they belong. Because at the end of the day, the monarchy is bigger than Harry and Meghan. It's an institution that's weathered scandals and crises for centuries, and it will survive this too. But it can only do so if it rids itself of the rot at its core. And right now, that rot is Harry and Meghan. So here's to Earl Spencer for having the courage to speak out. Here's to the truth finally coming to light. And here's to a future where we can focus on the royals who actually matter. The ones who understand what duty and service really mean. As for Harry and Meghan, well, they made their bed. Their empty, childless bed. And now they can lie in it. Maybe they can console themselves with their Netflix millions and their fake children. But they'll never again know the respect and admiration that comes from being part of something greater than themselves. So what do you guys think about this news? Please share your thought and let me know what you think. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.